Hi everyone, my name is Tamara Myers and I'm a civil engineer for the Deutsche Bahn on the Stuttgart Ulm project. And we're standing here today in the middle of the main station rebuild. Um, next to me you can see the shallow shaped structures which are the pinnacle of the architectural feature of this project. And I'm going to take you on a tour of the rest of the project and we're going to start at the north end. So now we are standing in the north end of the project and I say north end because this is where the new tunnelling system connects to the main station section of the project. And as we can see here, we're actually standing in a tunnel. Uh, this was excavated under the valley here in Stuttgart, so there are houses and stuff above this tunnel. It was excavated by row headers and a combination of tunnel boring machines further down the line. And these four tunnels connect into the main station. So looking in this direction, we can also see the direction of the trains as they travel into the main station. So let's take a closer look at the tracks that we're building here. We can see the temporary lighting for the construction works and we're coming up to the slab track system. So this system is quite special. Each reinforcing bar is uniquely positioned to adjust for the curvature of the incoming tracks. On the left hand side we can see the ventilation system uh, in the event of a fire. We are finally approaching the light at the end of the tunnel. In the last few metres of tunnel section we can see what we previously saw from the bird's eye perspective, these reinforcing uh, elements which are uniquely measured uh, to match the curvature of the approaching tracks. So this is very, very uh, exact work here. Also what we can see here are these blue things. These are to dampen the effects of the approaching trains because as we said before, there are existing buildings uh, above us here. And it's important that we do not dis uh, disturb them through any vibrations from the approaching trains. So let's go and get some sunlight. So even though I enjoyed warming up in the sun a little bit, at the end of the construction of the project, the main station will be a shell construction where natural light will be fed in through these openings that you see behind me. They will be encapsulated by large glass dome structures and there are 28 shallow shaped st structures that form the roof structure of the main station. So, as this is the architectural highlight of the project, let's have a closer look. The architect for these magnificent pillars is Ingenhoff and Associates. And during the initial design conception phase, Fry Otto was also associated in conceiving these remarkable structures. So as I said before, the finished construction is this shell roof structure, which we see all around us right now. Uh, the shallow shaped pillars, and I promise it is easier to say, say shallow shaped pillars in German than it is in English. We have again 28 of them. They are comprised of 350 tons of steel, approximately 700 cubic meters of concrete and over 30 meters in diameter. So it is structurally a very challenging architectural feature. We can also see that there will be four platforms that run parallel to the shallow shaped structures and that there are eight tracks comprising the through section of the main station. And I hope you've also noticed that 27 of the shallow shaped structures are facing in the same direction. There is however one facing in the other direction, which we will go have a look at now. We are here now at the Sonderkirche. Now I made a promise before that there was an easier way to say shallow shaped structure in German, and there is, it's Kirche. So Sonderkirche is special Kirche, and this Kirche is special because it faces the other direction. And as we can see above me, there's a hole in the roof where later the escalator will take passengers from the park level and distribute them across the four platforms.
What we have here are the post-tension elements that form the bridge construction that straddle the existing metro line. So the Sonderkerge actually sits on top of live metro traffic uh, and the metro traffic never once went out of operation during the construction phase of this project. This project is not only a project of civil engineering marvels, it's also an urban rejuvenation project. So behind me we see the fusion between old and new. So this building behind me is a heritage listed building where people in the Königstraße can walk across the Bonnetsbau project and walk into the new main station that we've built. The new main station is turned 90 degrees perpendicular to its previous location that allows this synergy between old and new across the city. So we are nearing the end of our tour. We have left the 28 shallow shaped structures or the Kirchstützen behind us and now we are standing in the south end of the project. The south end of the project is the final section to be completed in the civil works and it has many interfaces with existing infrastructure within the city. So we have the tram line, the existing uh, highways and uh, it's a very very interesting section of the project. Now the tunnels and the tracks converge and go in the direction of the Filder tunnel. This tunnel connects in direction Munich and the new build line and also connects to the airport. So, I very much enjoyed taking you on this tour today. I hope you've enjoyed my Australian accent and you've learnt a little bit about the project. I very much enjoy working on it every day and it's really a project of a lifetime. Uh, if you've enjoyed the day and you'd like to learn more, we have links and you can also click like if you enjoyed the video today. Have a great day. Bye.